Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 with me, the Doctor. In the last episode, we came to the Quarian migrant fleet to try and clear Tally's name, who was charged with treason for smuggling live Geth aboard the migrant free fleet. We learned that her tally, her tally, her trial is somewhat of a kind of cover, or at least a kind of sideshow amongst a lot of political maneuvering that's going on between the various Quarian admirals. But either way, We've come here to the Alarai, which is um, Tally's father's ship, where he has been experimenting on the Geth, based on samples Tally has sent him. But the sh- oh dear, Tally, you've had a bad time. Um, but the ship has now become overrun by the Geth, possibly as a result of Railzora's experiments, and we need to find out what happened here, find out if anyone, including Tally's father, is left alive, and also if there's any evidence in here that can really clarify what happened and clear Tally or her father's name or anything like that. So that's really a kind of like goal here. This mission, it must be added, is quite hard, the combat here. This is a lot of very close quarters combat against a lot of Geth. They can outmaneuver you, they can outflank you really bloody easily. You need to be very much on your guard here. Fortunately, we have... So I'm obviously quite good with tech stuff, as is... Kasumi and obviously Tally is and you're kind of stuck with Tally so a lot really falls down to your choice of second squad mate here um, I've chosen Kasumi Garrus would also work fairly well here uh, basically anyone with overload is going to be handy here I think Kasumi is probably the more useful one um, but that's Tally back to life now because apparently she was she died briefly uh, there's a lot of I don't feel good about this but there's a lot of credits and shit you can get from around the ship and there's also more credits and also a quarry in law. Something's slowing down the systems. We're taking down the firewalls to rebalance load distribution. Railzora ordered us to bypass standard safeties. Following security protocols will take too long. Hmm. So already we know that they are bah, bypassing security protocols, which isn't exactly a great sign. Um if we go into the side room here, there's a terminal. We well there's a medi gel thing, there's a terminal we can hack. And there is a repair drone. This is one of the storage units I sent to father. Looks like parts from a disabled repair drone, plus a reflex algorithm that I didn't recognize. I got this on Haystrom. What made a part worth sending back to your father? It had to be in working order, something that could be analyzed and integrated into other technology. Anything new had priority. Technology the Geth had developed themselves. Signs of modification. Clues to their thinking. How did you get these things to your father? Sometimes I left packages and secure drops in civilized areas. Someone on pilgrimage would see that it was shipped home. For very valuable finds, I'd signal home and father would send a small ship. Haystrom was a war zone. How did you salvage gear in the middle of all that? These suits have more pockets than you'd think. Quarians have learned how to salvage whatever we can, whenever we can. Within reason. We're not Vorcha, but we repair what most people would throw away. Hundreds of the ships in our fleet were salvaged wrecks, either found dead in space or purchased for next to nothing. Does that salvaged gear give you a clue as to what happened here? No, I don't know. Shepard, I checked everything I sent here. I passed up great finds because they might be too dangerous, prone to uncontrolled reactivation or self-repair. I don't know which possibility is worse. That I got sloppy and sent something dangerous, or that Father actually did all this. Yeah, it's not looking great either way. Um, but there's a side room here which has a monitor on it, which has something important if we hack it. So, it has a Geth Shield Strength upgrade, which I will discuss a little bit more in the future what that exactly means. Who's running the system diagnostic? I didn't authorize... Oh, Kila. How many Geth are networked? All of them. Rail Zora. Shut it down. Shut everything down. They're in the system. Well, this is a story I feel like we've seen a number of times in Mass Effect, the old synthetic takeover. And here we get thrown more Quarians. <laughs> Geth, even. There we go. Um, so, AI hacking be my friend here. We'll be fighting Geth 
for quite a while, I guess, apparently, the distance is the only one here. Was, was I wrong? Oh, bugger, bugger. There we go. Oh, brawler. I really thought there were more geth here. Okay. Not going to go into a story then at that point. Let's grab some spare credits that are hanging around and some spare credits that are hanging around. I just... I don't feel great about a lot of this, but I'm still doing it because, you know, money is money. Um, there's another quarry and log here. Ooh, and a wall safe. Wow. That's a bit narc, to say the least. It's interesting, she definitely referred to a mistake won't endanger the fleet, so it doesn't sound like they were actively like, let's assemble Gep and see what happens, or like, being, just seems like there wasn't at least malicious intent or anything like that. Now we have quite a prolonged fight against some Gep. So, at this point, I guess because I kind of talked about this when we were doing Project Overlord, um, I'm, I'm back now in the country. Um, this is my first proper recording session. Well, obviously I've started this last episode. Um, this is my first proper recording session since being back in the country um, after a ridiculous amount of travels. It's still quite warm here. Not as ridiculously warm as it was, but it's still... I'm still pretty warm at the moment and it's, what, 10 p.m. at night and it's still a good, like, 20 degrees outside. And I can't, still can't have my bloody window open because the neighbor of the wasp swarm. Um, don't even get me started on that. Um, there's, they, they have wasps in their bricks. They're currently even on holiday, so there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, but whenever I have my window open, they then come into my room. And it's quite irritating, to say the least. Um, so that's the whole thing that's going on. Had a fun time. <laughs> so, um, I was in Leuven in Belgium visiting a microbiology lab out there to learn some techniques of basically how to, uh, to put it lightly, how to inhibit a gene without actually turning the gene off. Um, because I, well, I can go more into that story in a little bit. Basically it's to do with my work. Um, but what I ended up with was some, oh shit, balls. Oh, have I been locked out of that? I've already selected that one by accident and check where it goes. Well, I've been locked out of that. Um, let's check this console here. This console might have something. Most of the data is corrupted, but a few bits are left. They were performing experiments on Geth systems, looking for new ways to overcome Geth resistance through reprogramming. Do you know what kind of test your father was running? No, father just told me to send back any Geth technology I could find that wasn't a direct danger to the fleet. I suspected he might be testing weapons, but I thought he was just working on new ways to bypass shields or armor. Do you think testing weapons on the Geth was right? It's not testing weapons on prisoners, Shepard. I only sent Father parts. Even if he assembled them, they wouldn't be sapient. You saw what Saren and Sovereign did with the Geth. Any research that gives us an advantage is important. Could any of that data clear your name? Doubtful. This is mostly results data, effects of different disrupted hacking techniques. I don't understand all of it. But they may have been activating the Geth deliberately. I don't know. Nothing here says specifically, but if they were, then Father was doing something terrible. What was all this, Father? You promised you'd build me a house on the homeworld. Was this going to bring us back home? You'll reclaim your homeworld someday, Tally. If your father can't help you, I will. Taking back our planet would only be the beginning. We'd have to cannibalize our fleet to rebuild cities and infrastructure. It would take generations of gene therapy to readapt our immune system so we could live without suits again. We'd be adapting our entire culture. Again. Sometimes I wonder if it's actually worth it. Have the Quarians considered colonizing a new world? We'd have enough difficulty reacclimating to our own native environment. Adjusting for exposure to a foreign colony would be even harder. It's the difference between 60 years and 600. For anyone alive now to watch a sunset without a mask, we must take back our home. At the very least, we can take back one ship. <sighs> Come on. As I've kind of said so far, I still don't know exactly where I stand on the issue of um, Quarian 
homeworld versus recolonization of like, do I think they have a right to take back their homeworld from the Geth? Should they do so by war? It's, I mean, it's Mass Effect, so it's designed to be fucking tricksy questions like that, but I honestly really don't know. Um, oh, bugger. Um, let's... Oh, you're not... I thought I was going to hack him, but that's actually a flashbang grenade. Here, we really just need to use... If we use this slope here, most Geth would have to, who are attacking here would have to come up this slope to attack Q. So if you use this slope and AI hacking well, you can kind of keep them at bay down here. But no, what I was going to say before is... So, I was making these things, they're called RNAi constructs, or RNA interference, that they basically... They don't block a gene as such, so a gene makes a protein, and they don't stop the gene from working, but whenever the gene tries to make a protein, these constructs interfere with that process, and basically mean that even though the gene is still functioning, no protein is made, um, because whenever the gene sends out a signal to make the protein, these constructs interrupt it on the way and stop that signal from being sent. So it's a, it's a handy way of prevent of inhibiting a protein in a live animal without actually having to do any like genetic modifications. Um, so I was kind of learning how to make those and I ended up at the end of it with a box of these kind of constructs. They're all in individual little tubes and had to be kept at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Um, zero Fahrenheit for American reference. Um, and I made them in Belgium and got back to the UK by three trains on what was one of the hottest days of the year. Uh, when I left Leuven, it was 37 degrees, and it was still, I think it was like 28, 29 by the time I was back in the UK. That was a fun experience. I'm still testing the constructs now to make sure they actually like survived the journey fine, but I had to like, package them with like uh, dry ice and stuff like that. And it was one of the nice things about taking the train rather than taking um, the... I'll continue this in a second. First entry. Our hacking attempts failed. The gas have an adaptive consciousness. Hack one process and the others autocorrect. Still, we're making progress. Rail Zora is convinced we'll have a viable system in less than a year. This weapon will put our people back on the homeworld. And it's all because of Rail Zora. Well, that certainly implicates Rail in it, but I don't know how much there is to liberate, um... Uh, uh, what's the word? Exonerate Tally in this. But up ahead is a dead Quarian. Father! No, 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 no. You always had a plan. Masked life signs or, or an onboard medical stasis program, maybe. You, you wouldn't. They're wrong. You wouldn't just die like this. You wouldn't leave me to- Hey, hey, come here. Damn it. Damn it. I'm sorry. You got nothing to be sorry about. Maybe he would have known I'd come. Maybe he left a message. So, he was definitely on the side of kind of Geralt and Zen of kind of um, reprogramming the Geth or kind of like attempting to fight the Geth as a way of definitely moving to reclaim the homeworld soon. Now we get, ooh, a model Geth flotilla ship. That'll look great in my cabin and that's perfectly timed for now, not. Um, but now we have a hard fight. We have a very close up fight against three Geth of which one is a prime. 
this is generally a kind of hard fight. Um, but yeah, just to kind of continue that story from before, the nice thing is with taking the train into Europe rather than taking flights is that security is a, is much lighter on on the train. You don't have the issues of like not being able to take liquids or having like ex extensive screening or anything like that. So I was quite fortunate because I was very worried when I have these like samples in a kind of ow bloody hell combat drone. Um, I had these samples in a polystyrene box packed in with dry ice, and I was very worried that like some security person would take me aside and be like. We are getting strange readings on our kind of on our X-ray scanners. What's this in here? And I'd be like, oh, that's, that's that's locust DNA on dry ice. And they'd be like, sir, could you could you come with us, please? Um, which it certainly would be if I was trying to take it on a flight, because dry ice is definitely banned on flights, because it can basically well, number one, it's minus eighty degrees, so or like minus ninety or something like that. Basically, if you touch it, it's going to burn the shit out of you. Um, uh, it also, if it's sealed in too tightly it will explode and if the air, if it's not sealed in tightly then nitrogen comes off it uh, carbon dioxide even comes off it which can asphyxiate you if you're not in a well ventilated place so i was very fortunate to kind of like bring it back and in the end the three trains back from belgium were actually fairly smooth and i'll find out basically tomorrow in my time uh two weeks ago for you because i'm recording a large session um but i will find out if if they actually survived the journey properly but hey that's what i've been up to in other news, what's Rail Zora been up to? This console is linked to the main hub Father mentioned. Disabling it shut down any geth we missed. It looks like some of the recordings remained intact. They'll tell us how this happened, what Father did. You sound like you don't really want to hear it. No. We have to. I know. I just... This is terrible, Shepard. I don't want to know that he was part of this. Do we have enough parts to bring more online? Yes, the new shipment from your daughter will let us add two more geths to the network. We're nearing a breakthrough on systemic viral attacks. Perhaps we should inform the Admiralty Board, just to be safe. No, we're too close. I promised to build my daughter a house on the home world. I'm not going to sit and wait while the politicians argue. We'd have an easier time of it if Tally Zora could send back more working material. Absolutely not. I don't want Tally exposed to any political blowback. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new guest with what we have. Bypass security protocols if need be. Sounds like this is the evidence we were looking for. Everything here is his fault. I, I tried to pretend it didn't point to him, but this... When this comes up in the trial, they'll... We can't tell them. Not the Admirals, not anyone. Tally, without this evidence, you're looking at exile. You think I don't know that? You think I want to live knowing that I can never see the fleet again? But I can't go back into that room and say that my father was the worst war criminal in our people's history. I cannot. We're not gonna decide anything here. Let's see what the Admirals say once we get back. You're my captain in this hearing, Shepard. It's your decision. But please, don't destroy what my father was. Come on. If we wait too long, they'll decide we're already dead, and none of this will matter. So, we're in a very difficult moral situation now. Do we basically throw Tally's dead father under the political bus in order to save Tally's current reputation. What about the information, whether that's vital to the Gorians to actually know? It's not an easy one to do. It sounds like the hearing is already underway. It's only been a few hours. Did Chorus just say he was posthumously exiling Tally? They said if we died in the mission that they'd be fucking... They'd just, um, strip the charges against her and strike them down even. Anyway, let's go. Very well. Is the Admiralty Board prepared to render judgment? Sorry, we're late. He didn't waste much time declaring us dead. Go get your ship. We apologize, Shepard. 
Your success in taking back the Alurai is very unexpected. But also very welcome. Did you find anything on the Alurai that could clarify what happened there? Shepard, please. Does Captain Shepard have any new evidence to submit to this hearing? So, you have a lot of options here, and they all have pretty different consequences, so let's kind of have a talk about them. Charm or Intimidate. I haven't got access to Intimidate because I'm not a bastard, but if I, I could charm them. And the charm points to Tally's good nature, it says. She would never do anything to endanger the fleet, and this option only works if you spoke to the Admirals before going after the Alarai. You say, not only is Tally generally a decent person, but you all know this trial is a sham. It's all, it's, it's all about the political stuff behind it, and you're just using Tally as a front for all of that. And as such, the trial should be declared invalid. And if you have spoken to animals first, that will succeed, and you will end up with the nice conclusion that Tally is loyal to you, and also found not guilty. Next, you can declare that you have no evidence. Um, that we didn't find anything on the LRI that exonerates Tally in any way. This then means that in the light of new ev evidence, Tally is found guilty of treason. That means that Tally is exiled from the migrant fleet permanently, but she is loyal to you because you defended her late father's reputation. You then can reveal the ev evidence and basically, well, in that case I can actually show you what happens. Tally Zora is innocent. Rail's team deliberately repaired and reactivated the Geth as part of weapons research. Listen. Shepard, please. Tally, is this true? I don't know. My father had to have a reason. Leave Tally out of this. Assemble a new Geth with what we have. Bypass security protocols oh. if need be. This evidence points clearly to Tali Zora's innocence in this matter. Thank you, Admirals. Rail Zora must be exiled posthumously for what happened on the Alarai, and his name stricken from all ship's registries where he served. Agreed. I would never have believed it, but... Agreed. Tali Zora, you're cleared of all charges. Charges against Rail Zora will be discussed privately. So that's a kind of reversal of the last thing when Tally is found innocent due to the evidence. But following that, Tally will not be loyal to Shepherd, who have completely lost her loyalty by besmirching the name of her dead father um, in order to save her. That's not what she wanted. So it's a very difficult decision. But there's a final option I haven't talked about, which is rally the crowd. What I'm about to do will only work if... You saved Vitor on Freedom's progress and sent him back to the fleet rather than giving him over to Cerberus. And you saved Carl Riga on Hastrum by kind of forcing him to stay out of that fight, otherwise he would have been killed in action. Only if you've done those two things is this option worthwhile, otherwise the charm option is probably the better option. Look at them, all of you. They don't care about Tally. All they care about is their war with the Gap. Tally risked her life for all of you. On Haystrom, hell on the Citadel, when she stopped Saren. She deserves better than this. If Commander Shepard has no new evidence, I suggest we render judgment. Wait! Shepard is right! Tally saved me. She doesn't deserve to be exiled. Damn straight. Tally's done more for this fleet than you assholes ever will. You're pissing on everything I fought for, everything Tally fought for. So if you exile her, you might as well do the same to me. Me too. Tally Zora. In light of your history of service, we do not find sufficient evidence to convict. You are cleared of all charges. Commander Shepard, please accept these gifts in appreciation for you taking the time to represent one of our people. If you appreciate me, then listen. The Reapers are coming. 
I'm going to need your help to stop them. Please don't throw away your lives against the Geth. Thank you, Commander Shepard. I hope this board carefully considers your advice. This hearing is concluded. Go in peace, Talizor of us, Normandy. Kill us alive. Kill us alive. I can't believe you pulled that off. What you said. I've never had anyone speak like that on my behalf. Thank you for being there for my father and me. Even when... Thank you. We can still go back in and get you exiled if you want. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm fine with things like this. It's fun watching you shout. Tali, about what your father said. What he did. You deserved better. I got better, Shepard. I got you. Come on, Tally Zora, boss Normandy. Let's get back to our ship. Thank you, Captain. This looks interesting. And so that kind of that concludes the mission. I do like the fact that they all do refer to you, like the amongst the Quarians, you're referred to as Captain Shepard. It kind of it shows the respect that they have that for them, Captain isn't just a military rank. It's about it's about being in charge of not just a ship, but in charge of lives, and the kind of the weight which that carries with it. It car it's the weight of command is much more clearly shown in Quarian culture than in, like, military culture, which is really interesting. Anyway, um, on that note, we will head back to the Normandy, which we can just do by pressing B. And we have, so we have a new power for Tally, which is Energy Drain, which drains enemies' kinetic barrier to boost your own shield, which is quite nice. New outfit as ever, and we got a tech damage research upgrade. Um, you get that in any case, um when Tally, basically, I think you actually, in, in any case, I think Ran always gives you it for just concluding the trial. Um, and we get money from so. Sol. Like we get from every mission, so it's not particularly exciting. I don't know why I bothered specifically drawing attention to it, but, you know, here we are. And so, I'm going to do a little bit of research, but that concludes Treason, um, which is, as I say, one of the more interesting loyalty missions. Not that the others are bad, but it's just... It gives you a whole insight into a culture that, until that point, you know nothing really about. And it's really fascinating, as I say. It draws on a lot of decisions made in Mass Effect so far, and has, as you can kind of imagine, huge implications going forward of what the Quarians decide to do next. Um, and so I really love that one. But, next episode, we will be doing another loyalty mission, and we'll be continuing on with the same theme of potentially ju dubious father figures. Um... And so we'll be doing Jacob's loyalty mission. So I hope you'll join me then. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you'll join me then. I'm kind of stuck on a loop at this point. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Good day.